A lot of times you see college pitchers get this, this deal where they try to avoid contact. They try to miss bats and ends up getting them deep in counts, walks a lot. Underneath this, carries out to Hendrickson in center. That ball is gone. Boehm strikes first in his first ever at bat in the American. Packard lets one rip. Will this ball carry? We are even in Greenville. That one. First pitch offered. High chop gets over Litton's head. That will bring home Vickers, and again, Wichita State has a lead. That's it. Right about the age that their current head coach is. So again, it strikes home on a number of levels. Speaking of strikes, striking out the side, Cody Hoyer entrusted with a lead, and he sits down the bottom third of the order. Ran into the fence. Yeah, that ball's getting out. Boehm gets around on this one, up the line, that's fair. Ritter has come home to score. And two runs ultimately will touch home. There's three straight strikes. Not only does he get back in the count right there, but you'll see he strikes him out on a changeup. Very good pitch. Probably wouldn't have been called if it lead. Like we talked about before, he needs to work quick and get his team right back in the dugout if possible. This one sent for a ride out towards the scoreboard, and it'll take a hop to the top of the wall, and that will be an automatic double. Makes it real difficult to square up a ball, hit the bottom half of it. Got him looking. Runner on first, Dugas. This will be sent into play. Hendrickson back towards the scoreboard, not going to be able to catch up to that one. A two-run blast from Gunnar Troutwine. Him against Hoyer. A slider got a little. A few years of eating in the athletic <laughs> cafeteria probably doesn't hurt. This one will get through, and Brady Lloyd continues to hit for the Pirates. He's on. With still plenty of baseball left tonight. With the Pirates amount of comeback, just need some pitching. Trout one. This will get down. He's three for three. Assuming it was going to get down. So a bit of good fortune for the Pirates. Um, the good thing from that perspective is Henriksen trying to test the limits of that wall. It'll stay in play. Extra bases for Henriksen looking for a triple. And that ball will hit off of Henriksen. A little bit more good fortune for the Pirates. Packard's already count, conquered the center field wall. This one to left. Playable for Ritter. But a sacrifice fly that'll bring Henriksen home. So. <laughs> May have been low, but they'll ring him up. Oh. Single scores one, maybe two. We have not seen a reliever for the Pirates today start and finish an inning. And this won't help. Wichita State continues the trend. They have scored every inning in Greenville tonight. This will get through on the right side. Litton rounds second. It's going to retreat and hold up there. I think that fastball on the inside corner leaves him wide open. What he's going to do now. Like I said, got him. What you're talking about. <laughs> four for four on the day is Gunnar Trout one. 
for the victory. But things can happen. And the Pirates have had success getting their leadoff man on. This has gone very well for Wichita. Able to punch it into the gap. A home run and a double tonight. And Bohm will add a single to his collection. That's a wild pitch. Runner comes home. And the Shockers have now scored in seven of the eight innings. O'Brien will get this one in the outfield. Vickers comes home. One pitch, two outs. That'll do it. An efficient pitch from Sam Lanier. Take notes. Now three for four on the evening. Just a triple shy of the cycle, and it seems unlikely this will be three bases. But how about four? Oh, it just continued for Bohm. It's a two home run kind of night in his American debut. In the bottom of the ninth, Washer pulls this one. That's a fair ball off the warning track. And the Pirates have their third run of the evening. Brown, after the Shockers scored every inning tonight with the exception of the seventh. And there's your final out of the ball game. Wichita State in its first ever matchup as members of the American now shoot straight to the top of the standings joining Houston as unbeaten in conference play. They are 1-0 and in their debut here tonight. A convincing 14-3 victory as Cody Hoyer picks up the win.